much money do you have in your emergency account? You know, a lot of times it's like saying to me, well, how many seatbelts should you be wearing and how big should your airbag be? It depends on how fast you're driving. Here's the thing with emergency money. More is always better. You hear all the time experts say, you should have three months of expenses set aside. Well, it depends. In the recession when people lost their jobs, three months of expenses set aside wasn't enough. I'm a big encourager of having a year's worth of expenses set aside. Now, I know that's a large number, but I will tell you that people who have come up to me who did that, who reached that goal, it might have taken them five years to get there, but when the recession hit and they lost their job, that year's worth of expenses set aside is what allowed them to keep their home and keep eating. And I've literally had people come up to me crying, thanking me when that happened. So more is better. I keep two years of expenses set aside in a money market account because I'm conservative. So the best way to fund your emergency account is always the best way to save money for anything and that's to save money automatically. So when money comes in, your paycheck gets deposited, move money automatically from your checking account into a separate money market account or a separate savings account that you won't touch. It doesn't have checking, doesn't have an ATM card. You literally want to almost forget it's there and it's truly emergency money. And people always get confused about what does that mean, emergency money? It means it's truly for emergency. Like you lost your job, you've got a healthcare issue. It's not for going out at night or going on a trip or going to be a bachelor for a bachelor party or going to be a bachelor for a bachelorette party. It's for emergency purposes.